Welcome back, everybody. Um, it feels like a long time ago that I recorded the last episode, to the point where I've actually forgotten what number we're up to. Is it 14? But we have a home match against Blackburn. Um, we are above them in the table. We are at home. We should win, but um, we should know by now also that we don't play very well at home. So let's... Uh, I think I've already made the team. That's it. Um, never mind about that. Let's just start, shall we? Let's cut straight to the chase. Looking forward to Patrick Berger actually making a significant contribution for once. They've got Marcus Hedman in goal. I think they've just signed him, actually. Could be wrong. Well, they've got, oh yeah, Henningberg. So they've got Henningberg and we've got Patrick Berger. Looks like they're going to play on the counter-attack. Keith Gillespie is a good player on this. Come on, Patrick. It might be that we're playing Danny Murphy behind the front two. I can't even remember. I didn't really pay much attention because I actually set the team when I finished recording the last episode. And as I say, that, that feels like uh, quite a while ago now. Come on, Patrick. In it goes. Oh. At least he's getting involved. Heskey hits the upright. How long has it been since Emil Heskey scored? I know he's been injured, but... Oh, nice of Michael Owen to show up in this game after 22 minutes. That's not so good, Gary Mack. Yeah, Blackburn were pretty decent back in 2001, weren't they? When did they win the league? Maybe someone watching this can uh, can write the answer in the comments. Because I'm not sure I can be bothered to look it up, quite frankly. But this game could go either way. This is... Because uh, they've hit the up right now. We've, so both teams have hit the woodwork. Uh, chances are fairly even. Uh, you wouldn't have thought that we are above them in the table and playing at home. It's much more even than that. And because it's been quite end-to-end um, -end action, this game's actually taken quite a while to progress. I um, feel like it should be half-time by now, but uh, we're still playing in this first half. 35 minutes gone. Oh, great. An own goal. Gary McAllister, he's not had a good half anyway, has he? That's capped it off. These are the kind of results that get you fired. Because these are, if these guys are in 14th in the table, why are we losing to them? Yeah, why can't our strikers actually score goals? Well, we've made a couple of substitutions at half-time because things are not going well. Uh, Oncho and Babel were both on fives, so we've taken uh, Babel off. And we've also put Bishgan on for Haman, because Haman was on a six. Although McAllister scored the own goal, he was on a seven, so we're not going to take him off just yet. I mean, he's creative, so... I feel like it would be a bit of a mistake, maybe, to, to take Gary McAllister off. Although he's going to get tired soon, so... We uh, we might have to. Ah, Stigging of Bjornaby, back at Anfield. Didn't realise he'd gone to Blackburn. How many shots do you want, Owen? 
So on comes Gerard. McAllister was down to 62% condition, so he really needed to come off. We need the driving force of Stevie G in the centre. Come on, penalty. Oh, that was outside the area. I just assumed it was in the area. Sticking of Bjornaby has been uh, right in the middle of things since he came on. We've had the better of the second half. Yes. Come on, don't rule it out, linesman. Don't say he's offside. Right, we've got 15 minutes to try and find a winner here. And I feel like Gerard has definitely made a big difference. That's okay. Take the book in. It doesn't look like a winner is on the cards, but at least we're not losing. Come on, Berger. Uh, I don't think he's scored still. As I say, McAllister didn't play badly. Um, Bjornaby again. Gerard's been central. Bjorna B again. He's having a an excellent substitution a substitute appearance. Yes, hit it. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Perhaps a draw is a fair result. Come on, Bishkan. Yes. We got there in the end. That's his first ever goal for Liverpool. Igor, you legend. You absolute legend. We somehow got... Uh, we somehow got three points out of this game. And I think Stevie... Stevie G deserves about 75% of the credit. It's not over yet. Oh, Damien Duff comes on for a cameo. So now we find ourselves in the so-called Phase 2 of the European Champions Cup. We're in Group A. Not sure how many groups there are. I'm assuming four. Um, which means that if we qualify from this, we will be... In the quarterfinals? Anyway, um, could have been a worse group. I mean, we've got Bayern Munich, but we already beat them in the Super Cup. Celtic and... Um, not even sure what this Greek side is, but we're in Greece for the first match. Uh-oh. They're on the attack. This is at the Apostolos Nikolaidis Stadium. Seems like whoever I play in that position on the right of the three central defenders is uh, not having a great game. Doesn't matter whether it's Babel or Carragher. Babel got a 5 out of 10 in the last match, so. Well, it's uh, been all them at the moment. We can barely get the ball. Still, it's not like they're having lots of chances. We need one of those clinical away day displays. Ah, oh, was that Richie Partridge? Back on the left wing, scoring his first ever Liverpool goal. It was Bishkan in the last match. Partridge in this one. 
nice to see. Richie's done well. He's, he's deserved a goal for all of his uh, solid performances. Don't count for much, though, because they've already equalised. That took them six minutes. Partridge continues undeterred. That's the attitude I like to see. And Owen puts us back in front. Did Partridge set him up? I didn't actually notice. I know Partridge was involved in the build-up. This is end-to-end. -end. I mean, the last match I thought was end-to-end. -end. This really is. I guess it's their turn to score next. I don't know if winning our home games and drawing our away games is, is going to be enough. You'd think it would be. I don't know what the maths is behind that. What a goal that would have been. Well, at least we're playing some nice stuff. I've tried to put Schmitzer over on the right wing, but he's supposed to be good at crossing. Just hasn't really shown it. That's probably on show suspended. He gets a lot of yellow cards. Let's uh, save our substitutions for a little bit later. They've not made any either, so... We should be okay. Uh, Hippia bailed out Dudek to some degree there. Although Dudek, I think, made quite a number of saves in this game. Come on, Bishkan, scored two in two goals, uh, two games in a row. Or Owen can just score a second goal. That's fine. Tenth goal of the season for Owen. He's definitely our top goal scorer, isn't he? And that prompts PAO to, to make a change. As usual, playing better away than at home. Yeah, if we get to the quarterfinals of the Champions Cup, um, I think we'll have done well. Sixty-minute mark, so we can uh, we can make some substitutions here. Oh, Emil Heskey, it's a good job I didn't change my strike partnership. Well, we've made all three substitutions, so let's just keep fingers crossed that we don't get an injury. Give Jarred the rest of the game off because I think we need him. Give Redknapp a chance. We've got Hegem on. Um, and we put on Babel for Oncho. Give Babel a chance to redeem himself for that 5 out of 10 he got in the first half of the Blackburn game. At least Jamie was getting in there, trying to get in the way. To what degree he actually got in the way, I'm not sure, but appreciate the effort, Jamie. This has been a relative uh, walk in the park after a pretty stormy opening 20-25 minutes where they were dominating us but we slowly worked our way into the game taking our chances scoreline probably flatters us but uh, we've played well in this game as I say the only player I can criticise is Oncho maybe because he was on a 6 solid stuff 
Look at that. Dudek got a 9 out of 10. Heskey, 9 out of 10. Richie Partridge, 9 out of 10. Owen, 9 out of 10. Assists. Gerald got one. Heskey got one and a goal. Partridge got an assist and a goal. It's really encouraging from Richie Partridge. He could be a star, although his stats don't look good, but he plays well. Anyway, that will be our two games for today. Two matches, two wins. Uh, we're somewhere closer to where we should be in the league, which is promising. We've still got um, a game or two in hand on those above us. I think Manchester United are now top of the table. I think they're eight points clear. They've played two games more. So um, we can get a bit closer with our games in hand. So uh, leave a like. That would be very kind of you. Uh, comment. I'd be interested to hear what comments you have. And uh, hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.